Hey, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of 30 Days of Sketches. And today's uh, sketch is from Daisy Scraps. It's an awesome sketch. And um, I had a lot of fun doing this one. I liked it because it had a little bit of mixed media, but it also had some paper tearing. Um, so it had a little bit of everything there. So I did find a paper that was a black grid that I had in my stash. It's like an older Felicity Jane paper. And that really was almost exactly what was in the sketch. So I decided to go ahead and use that. And I did tear it, but I didn't want that big white edge showing. So I just followed that tear line and trimmed it off with my scissors. So that is a, a little tip that I actually learned from MK Gunn over at her channel. So I went ahead and glued that down. And then I have this picture. It's a, l a larger picture, a five by seven of uh, the group of us that went to um, my retreat in January. And so we're standing out in front of the big windmill. And so I had these custom wood pieces created by MK um, for my retreat. And so I decided to use those on the uh, layout. So I actually um, had her make these and I gave them as a giveaway to the people that came to the retreat. And that was a lot of fun. Um, it just gave them some embellishments that were specific to the retreat. And I, so I thought that would just be kind of cool. Um, so I pulled out some, let's see here. That is shimmer spray from uh, Dilutions. And it is in Desert Sand. And it's one of my favorite browns. It's really pretty. It's got this beautiful um, metallic look to it and I don't know it's just really stunning so it's kind of coppery looking to some extent and I thought it matched that windmill just perfectly and then I found this washi tape in a bag of washi that my friend had she got it from somebody else uh, they gave her this huge bag of washi so she just brings it to all of the retreats or all of the crops that we go to and everybody is welcome to use whatever they want and so I found this piece that is uh, copper and I decided to go ahead and use that. I guess it's copper, kind of copper, bronze. I don't know, somewhere around, somewhere in between those two. Um, I think it's more copper though. And so I really liked it. So I thought it would be a really good landing place for the for my word there that says scrap away. And that is what we call this retreat. Um, it's the one that I've been going to for many, many years. Um, it's just at a new location. And um, a, a few other things have changed, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm really liking the way that's looking. Uh, I'm liking the mixed media. I like that it brings out the copper or the the coppery tones in the windmill and actually the mailbox that is also there that uh, one of the gals is leaning on. So I decided to bring that same copper down into the bottom uh, left-hand corner. And then I'm gonna play around with where I want my embellishments. Uh, while I map my photo, I will remind you this is a hop that we are doing every day for the month of March. So check out all the links down below and go see what everyone else is making. I also want to let you know that the links for the things that I have um, or that I'm using on this layout will be down below. They are affiliate links. So I do get a small kickback for from that or a small commission. Um, and I am required to tell you that. So uh, I don't get paid to do the video, even though you might see a paid promotion uh, flag on my video, but I do also have to click that box because uh, I do get some compensation if you do use those links. So I decided to use a die from Elizabeth Craft Designs to create that torn edge. Um, and then I cut it in half because it was a wider torn edge and used it to split the difference um, top and bottom. I inked it up with some Catherine Pooler ink in stone blue, which is the best ink that matched or the best ink color to match the sky um, in the photograph. And so that is why I chose that color. Um, you could easily just rip your paper. Uh, you didn't have to use a die to, to rip it, but I use the die because I, I like the small little ripped edges that it leaves, like the little jaggedy pieces, and I could control better. Um, I actually thought I was going to use a longer length of it, so but I, that way I could control better um, if it ripped at an angle or not, but I didn't end up using it in the length that I was thinking I was going to use it in. 
So then I also pulled out my, uh, what is that thing called? <laughs> my punch, um, my notebook edge punch. And I inked that up in some walnut stain ink just to bring in more of the brown. And then I'm just sitting here kind of playing with the ideas of what I want to do with the embellishments. And I don't know why I was having such a hard time with it. Uh, I think it was just kind of late and I was tired, but, um, I really do like the way that it comes out at the end, but I wanted to bring in a little bit more of that blue. So I just used my uh, ink blending brush and I brought in a little bit more blue ink to a piece of white paper and then I backed these pieces of wood that had the centers cut out of it. I backed it just like I would a cut file. So I um, made my paper the same color. I traced around each of those elements, cut it out, and glued it on the back. And I like the way that that looks. I was not really thrilled with how the washi tape looked going through that circular piece with the three hearts on it. So I knew I wanted something solid in there. And then I will probably do a little bit of journaling right inside that little space. Um, but most of my journaling will probably go down on that grid paper below where it says scrap away. And then I wanted those two hearts to match because if I'm bringing the blue up into one area, I wanted to bring it into the other two areas also, even though it's just a small bit of blue. And I really like the way that that looks. So um, that made me a lot happier than having uh, the transitions of papers underneath the wood pieces showing. Um, one thing I did not do is I did not tape my paper down when I did the mixed media on this. So it is a little bit warped. Um, that's what I was kind of like wiggling it around there to kind of flatten it out a little bit better. I do end up putting it under some books, um, an album and such to kind of flatten it out, but it's still not perfectly flat like I like, but, uh, hopefully when it goes in the actual album, it won't be an issue. So, um, I know a lot of people don't mind that waviness and it's not an issue when it goes in the album. I think I'm just a little bit on the picky side, so I probably should have, uh, taped it down. I just did the packaging technique, so I didn't really, really think about it. I know, I mean, I know that the, anytime you add any of the liquid, like even sometimes when you add glue, it puckers and stuff. So I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wasn't thinking. I was just in a hurry. Uh, it could also been a, been a case where all of my boards were um, in use. So I was at a retreat when I did this, and that's why. So I finished this off just with some really small bronzy or coppery uh, sequins. You can see them there around each area. And that is pretty much it for this layout. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with me today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video, actually two videos tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.